Okay, this is Eric Windheim, building biologist and electromagnetic radiation specialist. We're in Marin County and a very nice home. And they have a lot of dirty electricity from the energy efficient pool pump, which the state of California requires for anything of one horsepower or above. How do we know? Because this is the frequency of the pool pump, 34,000 kilohertz. No, 34 kilohertz, that's 34,000 cycles per second. When we turn the pool pump off, it goes away. So this is the waveform. This is the blue 60 cycle waveform, and you can see it's plateaued or flat topped. Normally, the 60 cycle sinusoidal waveform is supposed to be a perfect sinusoid. But we have a lot of solar in this area with modified square wave inverters, and that causes that. But we're really worried about this because the amplitude of this voltage between the top and the bottom is 3.6 volts. And 3.6 volts may not seem a lot, but when it's at 33,000 cycles per second, like we are right there, let's put the cursor right in the middle there and see what we see. Okay, 32,000 cycles per second. That's a lot of cycles. And it's at 3.6 volts per meter. So that's definitely a biological toxin, as is anything over 50 on the stetrometer, which has been used in many peer-reviewed reports. So, the first test we're going to do is the standard capacitive filter called the Stetzer filter that's been used in many peer-reviewed reports. And many people feel better instantly when we put one of these in. Like me. But we still got it down to, you know, 100 or so. But the frequencies here uh, of the pool are still not completely gone. And we're going to take that back out. Now we're going to turn on the... Uh, I have to adjust my stage lighting there. Okay, so we're going to turn on the... Uh, This is the RX DNA plug-in parallel semi-line filter that you can put in at the power panel. It's not doing as good as the Stetzer filter, but they do make a V3 model, and that does a little better. It costs about $2,000 per phase plus installation, so that's not doing the kind of job we want. So now let's go to a line filter and a line filter does the best job that's the DNA line filter and there's special configurations of it this is the standard frequency DNA line filter of 100 or 200 amp and then this is the low frequency well we still can't get rid of that uh, pool pump dirty electricity so let's zoom in a little closer and get a little bit closer view of it. Uh-huh. Okay, so there's the problem. That's the pool pump signature frequency right there. 32 kilohertz or 32,000 cycles per second. Okay, so now we're going to use this very best and very expensive DNA line filter and we're going to add a Stetzer filter. Well, that does even better. We get it down to 24. So it's possible that you could put one of these in um, for 100 amp service, which they have two of here. Um, it could be about $15,000 twice. That's $30,000 and another $10,000 worth of electrical hookup. So you'd be looking at about f perhaps thirty dollars to $40,000 to use the very most effective filters. There is another solution, and that is simply to remove the problem, and that would be the pool pump. <clears throat> and the pool pump is the culprit. And what I'm going to do now is we're going to take the Stetzer filter out, and we have the DNA line filter 100, and it's on uh, low frequency. That's the most efficient one. The high frequency one doesn't do as good, but the low frequency one gets it down to about 1.5 kilohertz. The high frequency cleans it up down to about 3 kilohertz. And if we turn it off completely, we're off the chart. 
Notice the Stetzer filter is back up here to 1200. I gotta go turn off the pool pump and you'll see that with no filters in, the pool pump is the big culprit. Yep. I mean, it's still, there's still a lot of, um, there's still a lot of stuff. Going yeah, on. okay, so that's just the normal hash that's involved with the house. Okay. Dimmer switches and other things. And uh, if we put the RX DNA filter in there, we could knock it down quite a bit. Is that like a version of the Power Perfect? No. But we also might want to just try a Stetzer filter and see what that does. Okay, so the best solution is get rid of the pool pump, get a single speed permanent split capacitor pump, and or a fixed two speed permanent split capacitor pump, and then clean up your dimmer switches, and then maybe Stetzer filters, or a static power perfect box right at the panel. So that's all for now. This is a long video. Thank you for watching.